What is WikiLeaks? Is it a truth or a new technology to deceive people? Who provides WikiLeaks with secret documents? Which are the goals and tasks of Julian Assange? How can WikiLeaks influence the events of 2012? You will get answers to these and other questions right now. WikiLeaks System The politics all over the world can hardly sleep well since the summer WikiLeaks publications. WikiLeaks website started to post leaks from the top global policy circles starting from secret documents on us bombing Iraq to personal us diplomatic cables. What is WikiLeaks? Who can it do harm to? Who profits by all the leaks? Who is that Julian Assange fellow? Secrets Revealed the WikiLeaks website launched in 2006 first claimed to specialize in disclosing facts about corruption in Central Asia, Russia and China, but later on it moved further. This summer it released the so-called Afghan War Diary a compilation of about 77,000 secret documents concerning U.S. actions in Afghanistan. October 2010 saw the release of a package of almost 400,000 documents about the Iraq War. In November 2010, it began releasing documents of detailed correspondence between the U.S. State Department and its diplomatic missions, which included nicknames for a number of world leaders a thing absolutely unacceptable in diplomacy. French President Nicolas Sarkozy was referred to as Naked Emperor, the German Chancellor was called Angela Teflon Merkel, Iranian President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad was called Hitler, Russian Prime Minister Vladimir Putin, an alpha male, while President Dmitry Medvedev was said to play Robin to Putin's Batman. WikiLeaks revealed that the pro-Al-Qaeda Saudi Arabia urged US to attack Iran. The leaked documents also exposed the U.S. cover-up of Georgian attack on South Ossetia in 2008 while denouncing Russian aggression. The documents also shed light on U.S. role in bringing Yushchenko and Timoshenko to power in Ukraine in 2004, as well as on its orders to spy on the U.N. diplomats and to steal passwords to Pan Jiai Mun's mail-in accounts. These leaks were allegedly provided by the U.S. Army intelligence analyst Bradley Manning. Compromising evidence is very expensive to buy, nobody knows yet. Finances WikiLeaks Its founder Julian Assange said the money came from a German hacker who died nine years ago. A $1 million donation trench was received by the website shortly before the autumn publications. Assange was honored a CIA alumni. This is what Dmitry Medvedev said about WikiLeaks. WikiLeaks publications show just how cynical the US words and assertions in the foreign policy really are. Vladimir Putin said in the interview to Larry King that some experts believe that somebody is deceiving WikiLeaks, that their reputation is being undermined to use them for their own political purposes later on. Chief Troublemaker The founder of WikiLeaks Julian Assange is 39 years old, he was born in Australia. He is a real weirdo has no permanent home and carries all compromising materials in his laptop. His parents met on a demonstration against US war in Vietnam. His mother was involved in theater and traveled frequently, so Julian had to change dozens of schools. He was once arrested and pleaded guilty to hacking and stealing some $500,000. He was fine, but avoided prison. Eleven years ago he was litigating with his ex-wife about the custody of his son. He won the case but turned completely gray because of all the stress. After the recent publications he was wanted in Sweden for questioning about allegations of rape, sexual molestation and unlawful coercion. Interpol issued writ against him December 1, 2010. He is now reported to be staying in London suburbs. He declared that if he is taken out the key parts of his archive will be released automatically. When questioned about the pleasure he finds in publishing dirty secrets he said that nothing gave him more pleasure than triggering changes. WikiLeaks will write about you. We are talking about WikiLeaks with historian and writer Nikolai Storikov. It would appear that the recent publications have undermined the image of the USA, the country and its diplomats look miserable and disgraced. Is WikiLeaks a means to weaken the US authority? Hardly so. The 53 American secret services would not just sit and deeply deplore the fact. 
I believe they can use their almost unlimited material and human resources to do something with this Australian guy and his six employees, who, by the way, paid a fortune to get access to all the secret resources. The story just doesn't look real. When the US wants something it goes and gets it attacks Iraq, Afghanistan, tears Yugoslavia to pieces. It doesn't care about UN or international legislation. But it seems they just don't need to do anything at present. Who do you think is behind WikiLeaks? This is a many-move game at first the resources founded and promoted, it publishes secret and unmasking leaks about the US, it is being closely observed by the media. Then a certain image of independence and reliability is created the founder is accused of sexual harassment, and the US officials spare no effort to criticize the resource, though they do nothing to actually stop the publications, or is that the freedom that they cannot restrain? If so why don't they remove the new body scanners at the airports that rose public indignation in the USA? After the website gained certain positions, it will strike a powerful blow on Russian authorities and on all those who confront the Anglo-Saxon hegemony. Can these leaks be trusted? How to know what is true and what is false? Nothing in fact can be proved in such projects. When an independent resource publishes secret diplomatic cables no one will question their authenticity or refute them. Meanwhile the mass media will spread around these assertions. Both fake and real documents are being published and you cannot say which is which. The aim is to mar the reputation and it is the US who has suffered, though, it remains quiet so far. There is one question though how did all these hundreds of thousands of secret documents leave the Pentagon and the White House? Can the leaks do harm or make profit to anybody? I would draw your attention to what WikiLeaks publishes at first it releases the information about the American army in Iraq they were actually killing civilians there 120,000 people. As if nobody suspected that, as if nobody knew they were killing millions of civilians in Iraq. Such publications are mere profanation. And only later the real leaks the controversial ones began to be published. It appeared that China asked the US support against the North Korea. Russia was allegedly supplying Armenia with weapons behind Azerbaijan's back and so on and so forth. Who will profit if all the countries stop trusting each other? The USA will, and their adversaries will all be harmed. Assange promised to release more information about Russia about heads of its main companies, oligarchs, ex-mayor of Moscow. I suspected that Russia will become its main target. WikiLeaks' attack on Russia will aim at driving a wedge between Medvedev and Putin. This campaign to discredit Putin in advance of 2012 has already begun. I believe that was the reason of launching WikiLeaks' project. How would you comment on the reaction of the world leaders to WikiLeaks' publications? Hugo Chavez congratulated Assange and appraised him for courage and bravery. The head of Ecuador offered Assange political asylum. He then withdrew his offer, the reaction will be quite predictable everyone will negate whatever is being published. The thing is that it impossible to say which information is true, and which is false. WikiLeaks is a real know-how in the information war. You never know what the next leak will be about, but rest assured if you don't believe in democracy, if you don't want to deploy military bases of the good empire, and if you don't give your oil resources over to western monopolies, WikiLeaks will write about you. We have all heard about the coming of the information war era, but WikiLeaks has demonstrated the real power of information bombs. How do they threaten the world? The main aim is blackmailing. We can imagine what sort of requests the country leaders get via unofficial channels shortly before the publications. We are witnessing the rise of a new epic a diplomatic game with no rules. How can the states keep their secrets then? Or there can no longer be any secrets? One shouldn't know the actual secrets to publish the leaks. You can say whatever you want this or that leader has a several billions fortune, for instance, it is he who has to react. The modern mass media doesn't need the information which is true they need sensations and revelations, and WikiLeaks gives them plenty of opportunities to make a big stir. They are one team, and all these independent sources have one leader. What can you say about Assange, a creator of a website? He will come to a sad and it is a sure thing. It is known that he cooperated with intelligence agencies, however, in fact, 
he is a pawn in a big game of others. Thus, I have no doubts that in the next castling on great chessboard, he will be sacrificed for acquiring the new quality. Bloody regime sacrifices are always needed. What other information surprises can we expect? We are in the middle of the information war. The war is against several countries, including Russia, but the fiercest informational fighting will rage on our territory. The year 2012 will witness too many important events, general elections both in Russia and the USA, and the National Congress of the Communist Party of China. The strife for world domination never stops, and now when the confrontment between China and the US grows, the role of Russia is becoming more important. It is not the last time when WikiLeaks is grinning at us. American diplomats cannot be trusted. After Assange was arrested a series of secret cables of the United States State Department was published on WikiLeaks. The world has changed. WikiLeaks type provocations are no longer appreciated, people quickly understand what is what. Mass media do not publish the facts people do not believe. WikiLeaks is a new technology for deceiving millions of people. The main task of WikiLeaks is hiding the truth. WikiLeaks adheres to the classical scheme for hiding information. If it is impossible to keep back the truth, there should be much truth. Then the real truth will be securely concealed among the great deal of falsehood. The second task is to cause distrust and suspicion among the state heads. It appears that prestige of Anglo-Saxon hegemony dramatically falls worldwide, and failing to recover it by power and money, one should do so that the whole world would stop trusting in each other, and furthermost in Russia. The third task is to make all intelligence services worldwide expend their precious time in translating, analyzing and verifying information. Meanwhile, on the quiet, the unwanted regime can be tippled. For example, in the Republic of Belarus. Fourth, WikiLeaks is an excellent method for speculating and blackmailing. Using such websites as WikiLeaks, it is possible to get money out of rich men and influence policies of entire nations. As we see, WikiLeaks completes numerous tasks at a time, being an evidence that WikiLeaks is a well-developed project. WikiLeaks is a soap bubble. WikiLeaks is a new information method aimed at mass destruction. WikiLeaks is refuse, disinformation, great deal of useless truth and a bit of useful falsehood. A blackmailer or a secret agent? A fighter for freedom of information or a new policy for making information warfare? Who are you, Mr. Assange?